Let's talk about body composition for a second. When you look, and say let's you, you start dieting, right? What happens to your metabolism? Unfortunately, you go from high metabolism to low metabolism after your diet, and it sucks, right? And after that, you rebound. So we go through these yo-yo diets, and a lot of the reasons why, Ryan and I have been doing a lot of research on this our whole careers, but why do we yo-yo? What happens to our metabolism, right? Why is that the case, and can we prevent it? So muscle is responsible for a large part of our metabolisms. So it's not just about weight loss. It's about the composition of that fat loss. Ketones spare muscle. So the way, the first study we did on this was we basically took people and we put them on a normal ketogenic diet where they had, we were keto from Monday all the way to the whole week. And then we put another group on a cyclic ketogenic diet. That's where basically you eat ketogenic diet Monday through Friday, and then on the weekends you carve up. And we looked at blood ketones. So one group had high ketone levels, one group had low ketone levels. They both lost the same amount of weight. But is weight the only thing that matters? No. So let's look at how much fat they lost. The ketogenic diet lost basically all fat, and the group that ate carbs on the weekends that had low ketone levels lost only a little fat. What's that mean they lost a lot of? Muscle. So now, back here when we did this study, really ketones weren't even out. This was like pre-prove it. Now, fortunately now, we can actually sustain ketone levels throughout our whole diet, even when we're in a stressful situation. That's very important to maintaining muscle mass. So we looked at the molecular level. Like we actually took muscle and look what happened when you gave ketones uh, or you gave like moderate ketones or higher ketones where you took like two to three packs equivalent a day. And this was showing basically when people first start a ketogenic diet, because that's when it's hardest, right? And so we looked at basically the ability to increase protein synthesis in the muscle. It's the building process of muscle. So we looked at the molecular level. So it's actually increasing muscle growth processes. So that's very, very important when we talk about like sparing muscle when you're dieting. Ketones, you can use ketones to decrease storage capacity. So feed a fish cheese, how much fat we store per gram or calorie of food that we eat. For example, have you ever looked at cake or chocolate or pizza and gained fat? When you're in that state, you have high feed efficiency. You become less efficient at storing calories when you're taking ketones. So the, and what we found also is a dose response. The higher the ketone levels, the greater this effect was. The thing about brown fat is that it's like a, it's, it's basically like a furnace. So the, the more brown fat we have, the higher our furnace is, the greater our ability to burn calories is. And we also did a study where we found that giving ketones increased brown fat. So basically it's making you efficient, it's sparing muscle, and it's increasing brown fat. That's everything we want when we're dieting.